Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a bookworm. I come over towards the left hand side, I put two fingers at the top and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line down on the left, come back to the dot, curve line down on the right. Come back to the left and I'm going to draw a big curve line, another curve line, another curve line. Now we're going up curve line, curve line, and leave it floating. Now I come back to this section right here and I draw a curve line down, curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, curve line connect. I come back to the top part right over here and I'm going to draw on top a curve line up, over, connect and right at this point I draw a curve line out in connect. Come up to the center and draw a little curve line on top and then one, two, three little curve lines down. Now on the inside I'm going to draw one baby circle on the left, one baby circle on the right, and in between I'm going to put a little curve line, little curve line. Inside I put one dot on the left, one dot on the right. Underneath I'm going to draw a little curve line and a baby curve line, baby curve line. Okay? Now I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to draw a straight diagonal out on the left a big straight line over towards the right and a straight diagonal on that right. Come up to the top, let's draw a straight line out and then I connect the two. Come back to the left and I'm going to draw a little curve line down, big straight line over and now a little curve line up, connect. Come back down to this section right here on the right, draw a straight line, straight diagonal line up, come back down to the bottom, we're going to put a little curve line, and then if you can fit them in, little straight lines going up. Okay? If you can. If you can't, no problem. Alright, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I colored my worm pink. Now some of you in different parts of the world might have different colored worms, but the ones I'm most familiar with are kind of a pinky color, but you can use any color you want. Then for his hat I used green just for an extra little color, and this is part of the hat also. And then for the book because this is a book he's sitting on top of, he is a bookworm, I used blue. All of these colors can be changed. You can use the primary colors, blue, yellow, and red. You can use, like I said before, color combination that you have in your own place in the world. It's up to you. There he is. Okay, let's see what he looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my bookworm all colored in, ready to go back to school, ready to do his homework, ready to be an outstanding student. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>